Howdy do, welcome back to Whatnot Hall Part 2, as I promised from Part 1's video. If you might recall, if you haven't watched it yet, or if you're new here, you might want to consider checking that one out before coming back to this one. I'll put it up here, 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 somewhere. And that was from my good friend Dave from Scott's Toys, Whatnot Auctions, and today we're going to do Ronnie's, another good friend of mine. To prepare for this video, I had to do some inventory because I realized there I bought a decent amount from his auctions. There are some packages that has been open and played with. Some have been open but have been sitting down in the basement and there are even some unopened packages that I need to dig into and when I had to accumulate everything, put everything in one place, it is a fabulous scene. As I keep constantly looking in this direction, it is because the hall is sitting directly next to me, which you'll see in a bit. And I can't control myself and can't control my wallet as I have to keep on buying things that I do not need. And that's because there's one feature on whatnot I forgot to mention from my last video is that if you buy your first item from the seller, you pay for that item plus shipping and the second and on items that you bought, it's only $1 shipping. So regardless if it's like a one minifigure or even one set, regardless of the value, it is still $1 shipping. That's the most tempted thing. You don't see that a lot in any other platforms. And that's what makes me keep on uh, having things that I do not need, as I said. And what's better than to show this off than my featured signature ground haul video. I'm gonna show it off on the ground because uh, it's early in the morning and the sun is glaring in onto the desk so it doesn't really look good. So I'll just do it on my floor. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dig into it. We have a minifigure lot here and I categorized them by theme. So we'll just start off on the left here as we have some Lego City. And part of me forgot what I bought from the past auction and then I wound up getting duplicates in the next auction. So I end up having these three Lego City Police and these two of the same. But that's okay because the current mock that I'm building does require a decent amount of Lego Police minifigures. So kind of army building if you would say. So it works in my favor and I like it because this one has a visor. And Ronnie was nice enough to have different accessories with it. Like this one has a, a cup, coffee cup and a cookie. And while this one has a gun, a stud shooter gun, while wow, this one has a radio and a golden ring. So he's pretty creative on that. I'll give him that. And I forgot who, who that girl is in the back. I can't get it in the focus. Right there. I forgot. And uh, we got Troll definitely in from Ronnie. And... Uh, Got a nice troll there. She does look pretty cute, by the way. So, I am happy having it. And some Star Wars minifigures. Got a Death Watch Trooper. And a Rebel. Uh, the only thing that did not came with the Rebel is the hat. I do wish I want to have it. Maybe I have to brick link it if I need to. But uh, that's alright. And one thing cool is that... Ronnie does these custom minifigures and he does his favorite is doing zombie like custom figs and this is one of them we have zombie Hagrid boy does he looks epic along with that lightsaber it is very well done since Hagrid has that big bushy beard and one of the minifigures accessories from uh, hidden side was another long big beard so that works in the favor and it looks really good you can really see that it's Hagrid even though the look is different so this is probably the grand one out of this whole haul that I really like and I'm really glad I have it and we got some uh, decent Ninjago minifigures here 
I think I have everyone by now. Zane, I have it in my own collection, so that's that. And we have Indiana Jones, and he looks pretty good. And I got this from one of his um, fantasy draft uh, pick by chance, game of chance. And uh, this uh, whip, it did not come with it. From the real set, and I uh, he was nice, nice to add a uh, whip on it. And I forgot who this is behind him. I forgot what movie, but uh, he looks pretty cool. And I think he goes for a decent amount in the aftermarket. And some miscellaneous minifigures. I think these two are from a CMF series, I believe. I think. And uh, we also, speaking of CMS, we do have some CMF minifigures. We got Spaceman Benny, Crayon Girl, one of my favorite ones of all, Watermelon Dude, Corn on the Cob, I think that's what it's called, it's from one of the Batman series, I forgot what this name is, well, what's he called? Another one of uh, Ronnie's custom zombie figs. That looks pretty good. It might be Lucy or Apocalypse Lucy. Maybe. I can't recall. This little dude here. I mainly got it for the skateboard. Another CMF that I'm not sure what the name is. You can't just have many figures. You got to have some Duplo in your life. This is a... Batman Duplo looks very really nice. When I asked Ronnie, do you have any Lego Batman? And he came up with this. I think that looks pretty good. Cute too. And how can I say no to Batman? As many of you might know. And this was a classic one, a Lego Police. I think this was back in uh, late 1970s. I actually looked it up on BrickLink. It actually looks pretty decent too. And... Pretty uh, formal wear, if you say, but uh, these are like old school police, but uh, this can be my uh, official police chief in my mock later. One thing Ronnie was actually doing in his early auctions was selling a majority of his Bricklink store, which consists his lot of parts that he has, and I actually got a decent amount from him. Decent enough that it actually fits in two of these tote bins, both filled to the top. Maybe this one is more filled than this one, uh, but there are a good variety of part types and colors to it. And let's show you guys what exactly there is. Check out all these pieces from Ronnie. Now this is probably just a fraction of what he had from his store, but it is still a lot. I even getting kind of tired just taking out the bags out of the bins, but uh, here's a decent amount. I can actually use a majority of these for mocks and creations, for as the ones that I might not, I might just um, part away for now. And I think one of my favorite color is these turquoise color. That's a really nice one. And uh, let's see a variety of here. I got this dot as a good giveaway. And these are like a mix of pieces with variety of types and colors. These are his own version of a pick a brick cup that uh, you buy a... Um, an amount of cups with a variety of, and he combines it. But uh, this is pretty wild, I say. Plus got four of these dots trays. <laughs> this might be crazy, but I mainly got them for the trays themselves because I believe they are very good for sorting pieces, like for, for when you're building. And in addition, they came with the pieces that are inside already. And they're good enough. That made me want to pull the trigger on these. And there that. 
we have mini figures, we have parts, and we also have sets. We have this Nexo Knight set. This is Aaron Fox's Aerial Striker V2. I never actually owned Nexo Knights, and I'm not familiar with it because these were out when I'm not when I was not back into Lego. So uh, I never knew anything about them, but I saw this one from Ronnie. And uh, it looks very good, so I picked it up. And this one, he built it himself, and then he unbuilt it, and then packed it up again. So, it's nice. And uh, good minifigures, too. And why does that remind me of Harley Quinn for some reason? Next, we have an Ninjago set, Jungle Dragon. As I mentioned, how I like the turquoise color. I think that's the main reason why I picked this up. That color looks so amazing, especially for a dragon color. I also like the dragon theme sets I have for Ninjago. I have the water dragon too. I plan to build that soon. And another good decent amount of minifigures. Oh, there's Zane. Have another version of Zane now. Wild. Lego Movie 2. We have Rex's Rexstream Off-Roader. I think I mainly got this because I want that dinosaur, that Velociraptor. It reminds me of Blue from Jurassic World and looks looks quite amazing, especially with that uh, missile launcher in the back of it. Very mechanical and stuff. And look, there's like different versions, I believe you can uh, alter it. Uh, that's a nice pickup too. We have another Lego Movie 2 set. Queen, whatever, whatever. <laughs> so not evil Space Palace. At first I had no interest in getting this, but this one minifigure caught my eye. I believe this is exclusive to this set only. It's Bachelor Batman. And one of my main goals is to get all the Batman minifigures that LEGO has ever made. So this is a definite pickup. You might say, uh, why why didn't I just uh, bricklink that Batman? But uh, it's a nice decent set too for a uh, palace build. So I think that's a good pickup for me. And last item, we have this beautiful city set, Tuning Workshop. This is likely the grand jewel of all because I got this well under retail price. In one of Ronnie's fantasy drafts, he was giving out 10 Lego sets. This one was one of them. And I bought two spots and I managed to get first and second pick, meaning I get to choose the first two Lego sets out of the 10. I was eyeing this one from beginning to end, so it's a no-brainer that I had to get this first before it slipped away from me. The second one was that Lego Movie 2 set you saw earlier with the Velociraptor. And at the end of this, at auction, I was one happy guy. And this is a beautiful set with a majority of vehicle builds, and that workshop looks good too. Oh, I got this... Uh, Bulldog here. I did not notice before. Oh, that's cute. So, folks, that's the end of Ronnie's epic whatnot haul. I do hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed showing it to you guys. The accumulation of piece counts definitely increased dramatically, so I definitely have a good collection now and hope to incorporate these pieces and sets and designs into my later mock creations, hopefully. So with that, i like to say thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And in the meantime, keep on building. Maybe less buying. <laughs> Save you guys a buck or two. See you guys.